Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining. I'm Prerna and in this video I will be sharing a step-by-step -step guide to get this hair and makeup. This look is apt for a wedding or for a festival. So let us get started. I'm starting with priming my lids with the NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone to prime my lids. Then I'm using this shade from the Makeup Revolution Essential Matte Palette to set the primer. This shade is similar to my skin tone. I'm patting this first and then blending it into the crease. Then I'm using a mixture of shade number 5 and 6 from this Makeup Revolution Palette again and running it into the crease with a fluffy brush. Now I'm using a dark brown shade which is shade number 8 from the same palette to create a shadow on the outer corner of the eye. The brush I'm using is a dense brush. First I'm placing the dark color on the edge and then I'm using a little fluffy brush to blend the color we had placed. I'm blending the edges with the same fluffy brush we had used in the crease at the beginning. Next, I'm applying some concealer on the inner corners of the eye so that the glitter eyeshadow can stick well to the eye. Then I'm packing this gold eyeshadow from the Makeup Revolution palette again. The palette is called um, Unicorns Are Real. Next, I'm using this brush to blend any harsh line between the dark brown shade on the outer edge and the gold shade on the inner corner of the eye to make the eyeshadow look seamless. Next, I'm creating a wing eyeliner using the Nykaa eyeliner. I am now tight lining the waterline with the Nykaa Kajal and girls if you are looking for a good jet black Kajal then try the one by Nykaa, I like this a lot. Cleaning under the eyes with a wipe to remove any fallout and it also helps to sharpen the wing eyeliner. Moving on to base now. First, I am using the NYX Angel Veil as my primer, applying just a pea size amount and rubbing it on the skin. Then I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear as my foundation in the shade Ivory Beige. Girls, if you have oily and sensitive skin like me, then do try out this primer and foundation combination because it keeps the oil at bay and never gives me breakout. Also, for everybody else watching this tutorial, make sure when you are buying any product, it is as per your skin type, be it a foundation or a primer or even a blush. Next, I am using the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Medium Beige to conceal the under eye darkness. Blending that out now. I am now using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light to brighten up under the eyes. Then blending this again. Guys, if you are wondering what I am using to blend, then this is the uh, blending a sponge or stamp by Innisfree. I bought this from Nykaa for 150 bucks and I really like it. It blends the product very well. So if you are looking for a less expensive sponge to blend out the makeup, then do give this a try and use this dam. Next, I am using this NYX Wonder Stick to create some cheekbones. I'm using this product for the first time and hence applying very little amounts carefully. Then to blend, I picked up the sponge first and then decided I should first blend with my fingers because that way it gives more control. And now I'm blending it with a sponge. Now once I was done with the first application, I decided to apply a little more again because I felt it was a little light. Then doing the same blending thing again and guys this would be my tip when doing makeup. I am a self taught person when it comes to makeup and one of the tricks that I have learned is to start with small amounts so that you have control over what you are doing. Next I am using the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow in the shade Delicious. This is a great color to contour and I have a full tutorial on how I use this to contour which I will link in the description box below. Then I am taking this fluffy big brush and dipping it in the darkest color from the Balm Trio palette to blend everything out. I am also using this pinkish uh, shade as my blush. Oh. 
Then I'm going back to eyes and doing my mascara. This is the L'Oreal Fall Slash Sculpt Mascara. And there you go. I have put it on my lids. So I will let this dry out for a minute and then scrape it off with my finger and use a fluffy brush to even out the eyeshadow. Doing my brows now. This is the Milani Brow Powder in the shade Dark Brown. I've changed my clothes now and I'm wearing my jewelry. I initially went with these earrings which come with the neck piece but later I decided to change into smaller ones. Applying bindi now. I'm stacking two bindis one over other because I have a blue on my blouse and then my neck piece has green so that way it will complement the look. Next time applying lipstick. This is from the Nykaa So Matte Lip Range and it is the shade Hot Fudge. Then coming on to hair, I'm making a side part and taking random pieces of hair from the back, rolling it and securing it with a pin. I'm now taking the middle section, again rolling it and securing it with a pin. Similarly with whatever left in the front, I'm rolling it and securing it. Coming on to the other side, I'm just taking the front section, rolling it and securing it. I'm now taking all my hair into a pony to make a bun, loosening the front section a bit and then I'm using this clip to make a bun. I have a full tutorial on how I use this clip. Please check the description box for that if you're interested. And there we are done. I will be sharing my outfit and jewelry details in the next video. I created this sari myself. So stay tuned to know all the tips and tricks behind this outfit, the inspiration, everything. See you all in my next video. Bye guys.